Hey y'all, it's Kaylin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am doing a Rick and Morty set. I've been wanting to do this set for a long time now. Um, I actually got the inspiration from Theo, I believe, from Not Polish. She did this a while ago. And I recently came across the picture in my camera roll and thought I'd do it this week for school because our colors for nails this week are green. So I added some green in there and yeah. So I actually asked on my Instagram and Snapchat if you guys had any questions about nails and I got a few questions I wanted to answer while this part is playing. One of the questions I got from Amethyst and I'll try and put their Instagram ads on the screen but she asked what is your least and favorite part about doing nails and this question definitely got me thinking y'all. I would have to say my least favorite part when doing nails but not really the least favorite because I also don't mind doing this but I'd say shaping. I think right now that's a struggle for me because I feel like it's the hardest for me. Definitely takes practice. I think I'm saying shaping because I feel like I can always do better when it comes to that. My favorite part about doing nails is probably laying the acrylic just because I feel like that's so fun to do. Okay, in general, when it comes to nails, I'd say I really enjoy going to the nail supply store just because I feel so amused and really in my element there. I don't know, I really just enjoy looking at products, buying new products. Just everything about nails I love, watching videos, doing them, talking to clients, everything. I just am so in love with doing nails. The next question I got asked is from my girl, Allie. She's a ride or die client. And she asked, what is my favorite design to do? And I feel like this is so cliche, but I love the swirl trend right now. I feel like not only is it easy, but I do think it really looks awesome on the nails. Like you really can't go wrong with swirls. I think one of my favorite sets I did was actually a swirl design, so yeah, I'd say that. The next question I really loved was from Lauren, and she asked, how did you stay motivated when you thought you weren't good enough? And y'all, this question I still don't know sometimes. I can say so many things about this, but I feel like I always tried to see it through when doing nails because I believed I could progress with it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like I stayed motivated because I genuinely thought I could do nails and I could get better. I don't know. It's different, like I said, when you love something, you don't want to give up on it. Okay, the last question I'm gonna answer is from Tori on Instagram, and she asked, how did you start doing nails? And the short answer is, I seen a video on TikTok of someone doing nails, and I feel like I got interested right off the bat. Um, I started researching more videos and good beginner products and tools because I knew I wanted to do it. I think a couple days later, 
I bought a starter kit on Amazon that came with a LED light, a acrylic brush, your basic starter kit. But I was watching all the videos I could on the internet, which really helped me. TikTok and YouTube, y'all, will literally be your best friend. I learned how to do nails on the internet. I'm going to school now to get my license, but I literally learned from the internet. I also wanted to add to this question. For me, the past few years, I started doing random things because I was so scared of not knowing what I wanted to do as a career. I knew I loved art, so I wanted to expand on that. I started doing custom shoes that lasted a couple months, and I didn't love that. I didn't love doing them. I guess what I'm trying to say is try new things, branch out. Once I found out about nails, I was so passionate about wanting to do this as a career. I literally would have never thought I'd be going to school for this. All I'm saying is it's okay not to know what you want to do. It'll come. One of these days, I'll have to add in clips of me messing up and redoing the nails because these nails took me so long and took me so many tries to get the lines right. And that's just the reality of doing characters, doing nails in general, doing nail art. I messed up so many times, y'all. I had to redo his eyes, redo the outline four or five times. Sorry for the rambling though, y'all, but these are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.